What's up guys? Today we're going back over to Lake Seminole to fish below the Woodruff Dam, but we're not going for stripers this time. We're going to go try to catch some big catfish. But if you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do that. That way you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. But let's get on the road and let's get to it. You gotta get some two-stroke engine oil for the old outboard Merc. You know anything about, I've always heard of big cat, I mean like 50 to 60 pound flathead catfish in the Flint. Do you know anything about them being in here? Or? Yeah, they here. Spencer, I've been up here for 20 years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Y'all keep hollering at me. No, I, and I'll let you know when he's coming. That guy you seen us talking to earlier is a local to the area named Mike. And Mike was really nice, and he told us where to go catch some shad at. He said he was up this spot earlier, and there was plenty of shad there, so we're gonna go try to catch some bait now. What do you know, there was shad where Mike told us to go. So now, since we caught the shad where Mike said to go, he told us about a good catfish hole we're gonna go check out. So let's see if there's any catfish there. We just found a shoal in the river where there's a sandbar under the water so it drops from 20 foot and then it goes to about 10 or 11 foot and you can see we're on top of the sandbar right here but you can see all the fish on it so we're anchored on top of that right now that should be where some catfish or some hybrid or some striper are hanging out hopefully we'll catch something in a minute though all right now we got plenty of bait now this here is a thread fin shad now how you can tell it's a thread fin shad you pick its fin up there you can see the little thread i guess that's where it's got its name from but Mike told us to catch these blue cats. Now he showed us a cooler full of blue cats he caught earlier. And he told us to catch these blue cats, just take these shad and get the scales off of them. That really expresses the scent whenever you scrape the scales off of it. You can smell it. And then take it and cut it in little chunks, just like so. And he said all you need to do is just take your little chunk like this and put it on the hook. But now let's catch some catfish. Oh, oh, oh. Whatever it was, he ain't on there now. That was a current. A gar current. It had to be some good damn chum. I hope from that time. All right, I got something. It feels like a good catfish. Whatever it is, it's got some good size to it. All right, it is a good catfish. Check out that blue cat. Check out this blue cat, guys. It's a good size. He's probably about, I'd say, four pounds. Now, we didn't bring any ice because we wasn't planning on keeping any fish, but I'm gonna take him and put him in a live well for now, and I'm gonna plan on letting him go in the pond. As long as he stays alive. This thing's on the bottom here. Unless that's a big fish. 
Whatever it is, it's moving. Feels like a big log, though. Uh-uh, dead weight. It's gotta be a big log. It's on top, top of the water there. What is this? I thought it was a fish, Dad. What are you doing over there? This can't be a fish. This is about the biggest log I ever caught in my life. Look at that. Oh man, this is a big fish. Check this out. Look at the size of this thing. Woo! Oh, yep, I'm looking too. Oh, whatever it is, it's big. Pull it out, oh, it got off. We got that one good sized blue cat you guys seen earlier, and we kept having Gar that would pick our bait up and run off with it, and I couldn't set the hook on them. You know, Gar have a really hard mouth, and they got a snout about this long full of teeth. And I got tired of the gar still in our bait, so we come up here to this wall, and it, it's probably about 18 foot deep, and it drops off to 30 foot deep. And I was marking some fish on the fish finder earlier, so we're gonna drop some shad down here and see if we can't catch a catfish or maybe a striper or a hybrid. We'll catch something in a minute, though. All right, guys, it's been a long day. There's a ton of gar in here. I mean, we keep getting hookups with gar. Every now and then, I guess we'll hook a catfish because I caught that one. But we're going to take it home and cook it. We're going to do a catch and cook blue cat. All right, guys, now that we have butchered the catfish and we have some sort of fillets here, we're going to take it and cut it in little chunks and try to make some finger-sized pieces, sections out of it. All right, that's good. Now right, we're just gonna put some lemon juice on this. Then we're gonna season it. This is Mrs. Dash's lemon pepper. You always gotta have your lemon pepper. This is Mrs. Dash's garlic and herb. Put some of this on there. Roll around real good in that. We're just gonna put a little bit of this garlic in here to give it a little bit of taste. So we already got some garlic powder too. All right, so we got our onions, we got our garlic, we got our seasoning. Now we just need to make a tenfold pack. All right, we're gonna fold the ends of the tenfold over, create kind of a handle. We're gonna put our fish on here. We're gonna add a little bit more season. Now you wanna spread the fish out where it can cook separately and evenly. Put some lemon juice on there. Take the onions, put in here with it. garlic now we're gonna take it and put it on the grill you want an extra strip of tin fold to cover the top of the pack you'll put some more lemon juice on here you want this to be soaked in lemon juice you want the whole bottom to be covered in lemon juice now the reason you want to do this so it allows it to sort of broil in the lemon juice and it keeps it from drying out. So it's gonna keep the fish moist. It's not gonna be some dried, flaky 
you know, fish that you're going to chew on, like chalk. Now we're just going to cover it up. Got the grill turned about halfway up to us, probably 350. All right, the fish has been on here for 20 minutes. We're going to check it. Oh yeah, it looks done. See how flaky it is? It's falling apart. It's not dried out. Still moist. Oh yeah, that looks real good. All right, so now that's done. We're gonna poke a hole in there to get all the lemon juice out. Turn the grill down. We're gonna use our top at the bottom and we're done now all we gotta do is see how good it tastes all right guys now we're done cooking the fish done all the preparation so let's taste it and see what it tastes like i'm gonna grab this piece right here with the onion on it give it a taste that's really good that's really good all right, so we cooked the fish. I showed you guys how I cooked it. This is one of my favorite ways to cook fish because it doesn't over dry it and you always have fresh flaky fish. You can see how flaky it is right here. And you can see that it's not dried out. This is falling apart on me. That's great. Please go ahead and subscribe. So that way you'll get notifications every time I upload a new video. I also want to thank all my subscribers that I have so far. You guys are really helping this channel to grow. Drop a comment down below if you want to see more catch and cook videos or anything else that you want to see. And I'll do my best to get that video out. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you again soon. <laughs>